Okay, I'm going to um, show you uh, how to remove the mask ROM from a SA1 board. Okay, so I've got my uh, hot air station, I've got it set to um, 380 degrees Celsius. And this is the hot air wand. Okay, so hot air comes out that tip. So let me get started here. Get the camera set up. I have a pair of tweezers. And I put a little bend on the end of them, make it easier to grab the, the mask rom. Alright, so I got my tweezers. I got the God Air gun. And basically, I'm just going to heat up both sides of the chip evenly. Um, basically, until the chip just pulls right off. So, and I got it on a piece of wood so I won't burn my desk. Although the desk is in pretty bad shape to begin with. But. So we don't really need to worry about cooking the mask ROM because it's some Japanese game and we're not going to reuse it. And so we can just we can just heat this baby up and, and so um, you don't want to put a lot of force on it either. Now I'm just using the weight of the cartridge to kind of tell me when when all the pads are heated up. Um, if you force, try and force it up, the, you might rip some of the pads off, but there you go, it's off, and, and, um, so, next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to kind of clean up my pads now, so I'm going to get some of my flux pen here, and I'm just going to, Put some flux on it, and then I'll try and zoom in and see if um, you can watch the magic here. Okay, so, so here's this. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to show up or not, but. Essentially, when I pulled the mask ROM off, it kind of left the solder and kind of jagged, you know, whatever. So this, putting the flux on and then just heating the pads up, kind of smoothed them out and makes uh, mounting the, um, the adapter a little easier. Okay, so this is um, removing the mask ROM. Step two is installing the adapter.